Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to write a um, simple Hello World application in 16-bit assembly for DOS. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously bring up your DOS prompt, and you can do this by typing the Windows key and R. Okay, so this should bring up this black dialog box here. If you're not running it as administrator, you'll have um, C slash users slash whatever your username is, um, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. So uh, the first thing you'll type is debug, and then I'll enter the debug application. So assemble at address 100, and this is actually a virtual address, so it's not real. Um, just it's just to represent um, the real address, which is here. And for you, um, it should be different. Um, this is just what happens to be. Um, what just happens to be what the memory is using right now. Okay. Uh, so we will jump to address 111. See, this is the um, jump mnemonic and address 111, or 111 there. Okay. And we do, we jump to address 111 because of the size of the string that we're going to be using. Uh, each character. Um, is one byte as you'll see here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to manually enter the data um, by pressing E102, which is the address right there. Uh, yeah, right here. And single colon, hello world, um, comma, 0D, comma, 0, 0, oops, 0A. Zero 0D0A are the hexadecimal bytes for new line. Okay. Uh, and then the next, the next thing we're going to enter is this little character here. And we need this character for one of our functions that we're going to be using. Okay. So let's just go ahead and um, dump at address 100 to see how that looks right now. Okay, so this is what's what's in memory right now. Um, everything else down here is just gobbledygook, random stuff. Um, but the stuff that we've entered is from here all the way to address 111. Okay, these first two bytes, EB0F, that is the op code or operation code for um, jump 111. And you can actually find the op codes by going um, on Go just go on Google and type in x86 opcodes, and x86 is the name of a 32-bit processor. It's Intel x86. Okay, it's it's um, standard. You can see here Wikipedia has instruction listings too. But you can just go here, actually, um, just go here, this, see this is the same address here. Um, we want Coder32 edition though. And as you can see, um, you have opcodes. Um, so let's see, like EB here, um, jump uh, rel 8, so jump relative um, 8, okay, so this is a, a relative jump here, is what this means, um, and you can see there are other jumps, E9, um, relative 16 over 32, okay, so um, different opcodes for different things. Um, and if you don't know what hex is, just you know, Google search that hexadecimal. Um, it's basically instead of a base 10 system, you have a base 16 system. So you have uh, you have the standard 0 through 9, and then you have um, A through F. All right. Now back onto the program. We're going to um, assemble again at address 111 because that's where we last left off, right? Okay. And we're going to use a mnemonic move DX, which stands for um, data register, and 102. What this will move, do is move address, it will move everything from 102 up to that character, the dollar sign character. Yes. <laughs> My brain's not working right. Okay. The certain thing I should know is that um, DX doesn't go into address 102. 102 goes into um, the DX register. 
Okay, so that goes in, into the data register, so it's kind of flip-flopped. Okay, next we'll do move AH, and this does, this is, we don't do AX because, well, first off, AX is the accumulator register that is for um, logic and arithmetic. Okay, so that's what we do math with. Um, but we're not going to use the whole register, we're only going to use the high byte in the register. We want to use low byte, and we do L. Okay, so we're going to do the high byte, and then 0, 9. This is function 9 um, with interrupt 21. Okay, um, interrupt 21 is basically halts the program. Oh, actually, any interrupt halts the program, and it looks for um, some function. Um, in this case, it will be zero, uh, function 0, 9. And if you can actually find um, a list of interrupts by searching Ralph Brown's interrupt list. Uh, you see, there's a site here, and there are various ways to look at look at it. But we'll just go here, interrupt, um, and we want zero nine, right? or no twenty one. Sorry, interrupt twenty one. And as you can see, AH09. Yes, so this is function 9. As you can see, that is the terminating string. Um, and it writes string to standard output. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to take, um, take the string that is in the data register and write it to standard output, which in this case is the DOS prompt. So we'll do interrupt 21, and then interrupt 20, which doesn't require any function. It just closes the program. So we'll just hit enter, enter. Okay. Um, you can calculate the byte difference by pressing H, 11A, and then 100. And it's, um, so there's an addition, and then there's subtraction. In this case, it's 011A. So let's enter the count register by typing RCX and 0, 0, 0, 001A. All right. Um, we're going to name the program hello.com. Okay. And then W for write. Okay. So it write, wrote that many bytes. As you can see, it came up right here. And we're going to quit. Okay. Now, if you type in hello, Woo, hello world, yeah. So, okay. Um, so that did exactly what we expected it to do. Okay. Um, now, uh, the, th the other thing I want to mention is that this is only 16-bit. It doesn't do 32-bit. Um, if you want to do 32-bit, um, then use um, something like uh, MASM32 which you can download, or uh, NASM, or FASM. Um, again, you can just download these. Actually, uh, there's, there's something called uh, Debug32. You can, if you, it's the first link, um, and you can download it, and it's basically the same thing as Debug, except you can do 32-bit code. Here's an example here. See, this is, this is showing the registers. Uh, as you can see, standard stuff, except you can do um, EAX, EBX, ECX, EDX. Alright. Okay. Let's drag this to our um, Notepad++, and I have a hex editor thing built into it. You can see EB0F, that is jump 111, and then all our stuff, all our bytes for Hello World. Um, 0 D 0 A it's new line um, 24 as the the string that is terminated at um, and then you see B A 0 2 0 1 now if you look over here we did move DX 1 0 2 okay now this is an important lesson in the stack um, basically a stack is like a, a stack things get 
put on top of it. So when you put something on it, you can only take what's off of the top. Um, okay, so it's going to go in backwards, so it's read this way. One, zero, two. So it uses two bytes because this is this is 16 bits here and BA is saying move to the data register okay so it's 102 and if you do if you I were to only do um, like a zero 01 then I would only use the high byte okay so because um, the high byte is the first byte here the low byte is this one so that's why that's why they're like that and as you can see, we do the same thing here. B409, that does move into the high uh, accumulator register, um, 09. And as you can see, that's exactly what it did, 09. And then you have CD21, CD20. And CD is stands for interrupt. I, I believe all of the interrupts have this opcode. Um, I'm not entirely sure. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you can use this same method, enter at any address, and enter the bytes for, um, say, some 32-bit assembly code. Okay, so um, if you were to get debug32 and then figure out the opcodes for a particular code, like move, EAX, you know, whatever, whatever hex. Okay, um, then you can just, you know, you can go enter some address and then, you know, enter the bytes one by one. You know, 64, 64, I don't know, you know, what, what they are. 64, 92, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and it will compile, it will write it just the same, and um, DOS will run the application just the same. Okay, so that's that. Uh, some other resources you can check out. Um, search up Intel x86 instruction set on Google, and it should be the yeah the third link third link down. And you have the manuals for um, the standard Intel processors. See, uh, so these are you have the instruction set. Which tells you, you know, all the opcode and things like that, and uh, that about that nature. Uh, you can go here and just, you know, download them all. Um, I highly recommend these. Uh, if you don't understand it, then I would um, go ahead and look up an another tutorial online, another assembly tutorial. Um, Okay, so now the other thing you can look up is instead of Intel and x86 instruction set, just x86 instruction set, just that. And then um, it should be the fourth link down. And here you have this nice, neat list of instructions in it. If you want to, you know, find a particular thing, say jump. Just you know, find it, click it. And it tells you, see, here's EB, um, relative 8. So you jump short, relative. Displacement, relative to next instruction. Um, and then you have E9, which could be relative 16 or 32. Um, which in our case is 16, because remember, it's only 16-bit. Okay. So then you have that byte there. So that's another relative. And then you have absolutes here, which are different. Anyways, um, also on this site, um, you have Pastebin, which people post, you know, various programs and things on there, and then on Documents, x86 32-bit assembly for atheists. The atheist part is just a joke, um, but it's a really, really nice tutorial for Windows and Linux. You're expected to be familiar with C, C++, you know, basic programming, you know, kind of understand the API of your operating system, uh, and you're going to need to know some math, um, in particular the calculus, I believe, so, yeah, so, you're going to be 
um, needing to know that. But this is a really, really great tutorial. 